So what is all this business going on over here? Well, I have the Lenovo ThinkPad USB-C docking station. In today's video, I'm going to be connecting my Lenovo ThinkPad E580 to these two monitors here using this docking station. So let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. This is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music. And at the moment, I'm on a little bit of a tangent with my new laptop here because I bought this laptop, I've reviewed, I've unboxed it, I've reviewed it, I've reviewed it again over the last three months to show you what sort of performance I'm getting. Because what I want is for this to be my go-to audio video production laptop and it's doing a good job so far but the one thing that I really need it to be able to do is to be able to hook into a mouse and a keyboard and a dual monitor setup like I have for my desktop here so what we'll be doing is I'll be unboxing this docking station and then hopefully I have all the things that I need to connect it to my two monitors here so let's dive in now unbox this and then get everything connected so yes, you can see here that they have not skimped on the packaging. That is uh, a brown box. And we have the Lenovo seal of approval here, which I've already broken into because I did actually check to make sure that everything was already in here when they delivered it. So let's open up this box now and see what we have inside. So docking stations have come a really long way. I remember the old clunky Lenovo, well, IBM ThinkPad docking stations we had back in the day where you would have to like dock it, literally like clunk it down into it. The docking station was about the same size as the actual laptop itself. Whereas now our docking stations look like this. They're a little lightweight box and I will show you what this box actually looks like and some of the ports that we have on here in just a moment. But let's just have a look at what else we have. We have our Lenovo documentation in the box. We have the uh, power cable. So this one is the Australian power cable and just a sort of fairly standard three prong connection there, which we will look at in a moment. And then we have the AC adapter here which is that one there, and that has, or it should have our, oh no, that's got a, another sort of connector, that's a USB connector on the other end, which means that down here, underneath, hopefully, <laughs> we have our USB-C cable, which we do. So this is what we can use to actually connect our laptop. So that is it in terms of that. So very nicely packaged, I must say, but there's our USB-C cable, as I said, our AC adapter there. We've got our power plug co connection and then our actual docking station itself here. So let's unwrap this now and take a look at it in all its glory. So here we have the docking station in all its glory. It's a nice matte black finish to match the ThinkPad range here, my E580. So it's looking good there. And there's not a whole lot going on there. On the front here, we have a one of these SS Super Speed, I think that stands for. I'm not actually sure. I should know more about these things, shouldn't I? So we've got a USB-C and a USB-3 port on the front here, as well as a headphone jack. So that'll be sort of the front facing when we have this sticking out. But all of the action is actually going on on the back here. So on the back, from left to right, we have uh, the power connection for our power adapter. We have the USB-C connection where we'll plug in to our laptop. We have a, a VGA, just a standard VGA output. We've got two display port outputs here, which is what I will be using. I've got some cables down here to connect up. We've got two USB ports here, which are labeled, can't really see it there, but there's a little keyboard and a little mouse that are next to those, which uh, indicates that these are probably our low speed ports. Then, And yes, we've got these, which say they're our SS ports over here. So these will be our USB 3 ports that I'll plug things like audio interfaces and other things into. On the top, there is just the power button there. So that's handy. And we've got our Kensington lock over on the side because everything has to have its own Kensington lock. So there you go, a very neat little unit and very lightweight and yeah, it should look nice here on the desk, connected up to my laptop and connected to my monitors here. So let's take a look at the other things that we're going to need and hopefully I've bought everything I need to actually get everything hooked up and up and away here. Okay, so the two monitors behind me here already have uh, HDMI and VGA connections from my various desktop PCs that are down in the rack over there. So I'll be using the uh, DVI port. So I've got myself two 
DVI cables. These are DisplayPort to DVI, so these should be fine to output from the docking station to my monitors. So we've got those two ready to go there. And of course we need a keyboard and mouse, so I bought myself a new uh, keyboard Logitech keyboard mouse combo, the MK345, which I've used before. It's a good middle range. It's definitely not breaking the bank, so it's not super high quality, but it's just got a decent right-handed mouse there, decent keyboard, and the nice little small unifying adapter that we're gonna be able to plug in because we don't want a whole bunch of cables or even any of the larger sort of clunky USB receivers. And most things have these universal adapters now. So that is the gear. Hopefully that's all that we need and I haven't missed something crucial here. So now I'm gonna clear some space over here and we're going to set up the docking station. And hopefully it's a simple process, but uh, we're about to find out. Okay, so here we have all the parts laid out. We have our docking station here. Of course, we have our ThinkPad E580, USB-C cable, power plug, and our Lenovo AC adapter. And I actually really like the detailing on this one. The little Lenovo logo there. I think it looks really cool, though I'll never see it because it'll be plugged in down the bottom. Anyway, we're now going to start connecting up the devices here and get things connected with the cables that we grab these ones here, and connect up our monitors to our docking station and our docking station to our laptop. Let's get underway. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is the power because we need to power up this sucker. And like most of these, it's got a nice little Velcro. I, I love my Velcro cable ties. Just keeps things nice and neat and tidy. So this is the end here that's gonna go into our docking station. And of course, this one goes into our power socket. Okay, so our power is plugged into the wall socket and now we just need to find the little yellow power socket on this one and plug in our power adapter like so. And yes, that should power up our docking station. And now here are our two DisplayPort 2 DVI cables. So once again, we'll come to the back of the docking station here. We're going to find our DVI ports and they should plug in, if I can see them properly. Yes, just like that. They have the nice little clip in there, so that's going to fit in there nicely. We'll do the same with this one. Take off its protector and slot it in. There you go. So these now obviously have to connect to my monitors, which you saw before. So I will go ahead and do that. You probably don't need to be shown how to plug in a DVI cable. Okay, so we have the DisplayPort plugs in here. We have the DVIs into the two monitors here. Now they've switched over to DVI, which is a good sign because the one thing I was quite concerned with is, is this gonna automatically switch with my monitors? These ASUS 24-inch uh, monitors will hopefully detect when the input's coming through and switch. Otherwise, I'm gonna be doing a lot of manual changing of my monitors. But we're about to find out because let's dive into the final stage here, which is connecting the laptop using the USB-C cable directly to our docking station. So our USB-C cable, one end's going to go into the docking station like so, and then we can actually turn it around. This is only a short cable because you're, they're liking that you're gonna want your docking station close to your laptop. So now what we're going to do is open up the laptop and make sure it's turned on, and then we'll plug this in to the USB-C port on the side here and make sure everything is working. Okay, the moment of truth. Let us plug in and see if this is going to fire up onto our other monitors. Positive signs. The screen has flickered. Bingo. Not bongo, <laughs> but that's okay. We definitely have one connection here, so we're now going to dive into the settings and let's take a look and see if we can get this working on our other monitor. It may just be that it's not on the right input. So yes, it was just a case of this particular monitor not being on the right input, so as soon as I just hit the button there, it was all good to go. So now we have this laptop screen on all three of these screens. But of course, that's not what we really want here. We want to be able to extend it. So let's just do a quick update here. And we're going to go into our display settings. Like so, we will scroll down. Wow, this is a, a lot of stuff going on here. So multiple displays. What we want to do is we want to extend our desktop on one and two. And it's done our extending there. We're gonna keep our changes up over here. Here we go. So we've got 
one, two, and three will hit the uh, detect here, or not detect, identify, and it will show us the different monitors. So monitor one is down here. Monitor, actually we'll do that again because you can't actually see. Monitor one's here, monitor two's over there, monitor three is over here. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit hard to see on this video, but it is all working well. Our three monitors are good to go. And obviously we need to change around and tweak. So at the moment it's got this one over here as our main monitor and then these two as our duplicate, not a duplicate, our extended display. So what I like to do is I like to work with the lid closed on the laptop, which is why I have the wireless keyboard and mouse. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect up our wireless keyboard and mouse, and then we'll see if we can get this set up working with the lid closed and with our two screens here as our desktop. So first things first, we're going to open up and connect up our wireless desktop so that when we close our lid, we'll have a keyboard and mouse that we can actually use. And here we go, our Logitech MK345. I'll unwrap this, throw some batteries in here and we'll get it connected. How cool is this keyboard with its blue back and its blue accents, by the way? I like it. Anyone else really love peeling these things off? Oh, look at that. Look at that shiny blackness. So this wasn't an ad for the Logitech MK345, but it's about to become that because I really like this keyboard and mouse already and I haven't even used them yet. So I will put a link down in the description if you want to pick up one of these babies because they seem to be very, very nice. Okay, so let's test the mouse. Yes, our mouse is working nicely. It's actually a very kind of nice mouse. It, it's a right-handed mouse, so if you're lefty, you're out of luck, but it, uh, it feels quite nice. It's a little bit more lightweight than my Microsoft mouse, but uh, yeah, I could definitely get used to this. Might have to be picking up one of these for my desktop too. Uh, let's open up Chrome here, and I'll just test that the keyboard is functioning here. So we will go to our Google search, and of course we will search for ourselves because that's what you do, right? Vanity search, yay, all good. So that is all working a treat. So now all we have left to do here is to make sure our power settings are gonna be okay so that when we close our lid, it's going to give us our dual monitor setup and that we can work without the laptop open at all, which is the intent I have here for the docking station. So let's give that a go right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna try it to start with without changing any settings. Let's just close the lid. The reason I'm saying I might have to change some settings is that other laptops I've had, the power settings have that when the lid is closed, they just power down. So we will see if that is the case with this one. And yes, it seems to be. So it has gone to sleep. So we're gonna need to tweak some power settings. Actually, we've got the sleep button here on the docking station. What happens if I just hit that button and power it back up with the lid closed. Obviously we wanna be able to change these settings, but let's just see if that's gonna power us up. Our monitors are coming on. Yep, we're good there. And let's see if we can log in here. Oh no, <laughs> here's a bit of a problem. Uh, fingerprint scanner. So with the lid closed, I can't use my fingerprint scanner. So I'm gonna to have to go in here and go, let's enter my pin instead, and there we go. Okay, so if I go in via my pin, then we're actually all good, and I'm just doing a quick circumference test here of my two screens, and I know you can't see all of the entirety of the two screens, but it is working there, and it is looking good. So that has worked fine. We've got our lid closed, we've got our two screens here showing, and we've got our full resolution, and as my mouse goes directly across, Yes, it goes from the one to the other. So the only thing that I would do here is I'll go to my display settings. I'll bring them over here so we can actually see them. And I'll actually, no, I won't do that. They're on the right side, but I just need to make this one my primary. I'll make this my main display. That's what I wanna do. And there we go. And there'll be a few other tweaks that I need to do here just to set up my start menu and everything else to be in the right spot, my toolbars and whatnot. But I think that's pretty successful at this stage. So let's open the lid and see what we get here once we open the lid of the laptop. Yep, so it's uh, recognized that and it's going back to its uh, multi-display mode. And now when we close the lid again, what I'm expecting it to do is to completely shut down or to go into sleep mode, which it seems like it's gonna be doing, yes. All right, so one final thing to do here, we've got to jump into the power settings and tell it what to do when we are closing the lid because we don't want it to go to sleep. When we connect up, we want to be able to be on the go and be able to be using the laptop here like this 
and then basically connect into the docking station and close the lid and it'll all be good. It won't actually power down. So we'll jump into the settings and do that now. Okay, so let's dive into our power settings now. And I don't really remember how to do this. So this could be a little bit interesting. We'll uh, just go to the start menu and type power. And yep, power and sleep settings we have here. And from memory, it's buried a little bit deep because this is just the screen and the sleep here. I think we need to go to additional power settings. Let's try that. Let's see what we get. Yeah, this is sort of the area we need to be, but we need to change plan settings. Uh, yeah, we need the advanced. So the, we need the, the bit where it's the lid closure. So advanced power settings, it's popped it up over here. So let's take a look at this one. This is looking better. So this is our, you probably can't see this very well because I forgot that it was so buried, but we're gonna go down to the lid, which is power buttons and lid. So lid close action. So on battery, we want it to sleep, yes, and plugged in, we want it to do nothing. And we're gonna apply and we're gonna go okay. So what we should now find is that when we close the lid, it will leave, it will just readjust the screens and it will leave the power running. So let's zoom you back out and we'll check that this has worked now. Okay, drum roll please. Closing the lid. Lid is closed, but it's powered on. It's connected to our docking station. It has recalibrated and we are good to go. So that was the one final step we needed. So we now have our keyboard, we have our mouse, they are working beautifully, and I love this keyboard and mouse. Sorry, I'll stop talking about the keyboard and mouse. They are good to go. We have our lovely E580 plugged into our USB-C ThinkPad Lenovo <laughs> docking station over here. I'm getting a bit excited here. We've got our dual screen monitor set up, so the only thing I need to do here is to rearrange this desktop and use some of my favorite Velcro ties to clean up this mess here. But apart from that, we are now good to go. I can now be productive on my dual screen setup thanks to my USB-C docking station. And I've still got a heap of USB ports out the back here, so I can connect up an audio interface, I can connect up a whole bunch of other things, plug in my uh, USB card readers and all the rest of it, and we'll be off to the races. So I'm excited about this. We are all set up and good to go. Okay, so we are all sorted here. I've got my desktop here, good to go. I've got my dual monitor set up now. Yes, I have a monitor speaker between mine, so it's not your classic dual monitor set up, but I use my main monitor here, and I have my other monitor off to the side. I can use my wireless USB keyboard. I've got plenty of USB ports here for all of my expansion. So I'm really happy and impressed by how well this has worked and how easy it was to set up. Just a few of those little power options to tweak and we were good to go. Okay, so I am super impressed with how easy this ThinkPad, Lenovo ThinkPad docking station was to set up using the USB-C connection straight into the laptop here. It worked a treat. So if you have a Lenovo ThinkPad with a USB-C port, then I highly recommend these. At least at first glance, it is working beautifully. And I will have links in the description down below to where you can pick up one of these for yourself if you're in the market. Thanks again for watching. If you've got comments, questions, or suggestions, leave those down below and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks again for watching. If you would like to check out two more videos about the Lenovo ThinkPad E580, you can check those out down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon or head over to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness.